Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day for every one of you and uh, happy Ramadan uh, for all of you, for the Muslim brothers and sisters. And I hope that Ramadan will be good for you as well as you can make it good for all your neighborhood, your friends, your colleagues who are not Muslims uh, like you. And uh, I hope to remind you about uh, what's our role during this month and every month is to help the people. It's not only fasting and uh, praying and reciting Quran. It is to help. Remember the people of Gaza, the people of Palestine, the people of Eritrea, the people of South Sudan, the people of Yemen, the people of Iraq, the people of Syria, and the people of uh, Libya and the people of the Democratic Republic of Congo and, 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 and the list is very, very, very uh, long. Today I'm going to talk about a difficult subject which will be more theological and philosophical. And please, please be patient with me. Yesterday on the Arabic uh, talk, uh, Alhamdulillah more than 400 people listened to it. This is, this is courageous. Okay, to talk about the philosophy and the uh, theology of what I'm going to talk about. Uh, last week, if you remember, I mentioned at the beginning of Ramadan, welcome Ramadan. Six characters, I hope and I pray for God that each and every one of you will be character number six. Okay, character number six. If you have not seen it and listened to it, go and listen to it. Today we'll talk about the subject is biological and universal citizen. Credit goes back to my two assistants, which is Ahmad al-Sheikh from Idlib in Syria, and uh, uh, Abdurrahman Nahas, which is in charge of the media here. The, you know the media that we have, uh, you know, our TV station. Okay. وما ذلك الله بعيد. This is, to talk to, today we'll talk about two characters, universal and biological. Who is a universal citizen and who is a biological citizen? This is the universal citizen, the individual with his family who care about everybody in the society, whether they are human beings from different backgrounds or animals, birds, habitat, climate, culture, everything. And he is linking, he and his wife, or he and his family, linking themselves to the surrounding, to the existence of life, to the life, to the happenings in the life. This is what I call in uh, English the universal citizen and in Arabic al-ka'in al-kainuni. Al-ka'in al-ladhi yarbut nafsu lil-kainun, lil-wujud. Or call it in Arabic al-ka'in al-kainuni. Okay, this is the one. See, everybody loves him and his wife and his children. And, 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 and. Okay. There's some definition about al-wujud. Al-wujud in Arabic, which is the existence in English. It's a noun. It's the source of being a being. The source of being a being. Okay. It's the entity. It is the life itself. This is the existence, which is al-wujud in Arabic. I'm saying this to understand the difference between the two characters, the biological citizen and the universal citizen. It's manifesting itself by thinking, talking, choosing, acting, and reacting, and so on, so on, so on. This is the manifestation of the existence. So we cannot see the existence, but it has a manifestation of it. We cannot see life, but we see the life through its manifestation. The difference between al-wujud, 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 the difference between the existence and the present. Something present and found is like this, tangible in your hand. But the existence is not tangible. The existence, which is al-wujud, is not tangible. Focus, please. Huh? It's not my talk. It is, I, called, I got this in, uh, from a website called Al-Ishraq. Al-Ishraqa? Ishraqa.net? Ishraqa.net? Okay, but I have to mention, this is not my, uh, this is not my words. Huh? I'm not stealing it from others. Ishraqa.net. 
Ishlaqa dot net, okay? Ishlaqa dot net, go and look at it. Existence is life, is the life, while present or found is the changeable manifestation of the non-changeable reality of existence. Life. Existence is the merely. The present is tangible. As I said, this is something we hold in our hand. But existence, we cannot hold, hold the existence in our hand. Existence is the mere being of life based on it is what we call tangible being of life, which includes different acts of the body, mind, thinking, speaking, behavior, choosing, feelings, affecting, impacting, different universal manifestations. The existence also, the existence, the life or being is the unseen reality of everything we currently see. The existence or the life is the unseen reality of everything currently we see. We see currently, be seeing soon, or will be seeing it in the distant future. It's the three of them. Now, near, or in the distant future. The, it, is the eternal, it is eternal, existence is eternal, al-wujud is eternal, having no shape, limits, and its foundation of all universal manifestation. Al-wujud huwa qa'idat bina' kulli ma wamhud ma huwa mawgud wa ahawlana. If one of us, if the life of a human, of the human being without existence is waste of time. And if we do not link us to the existence, the wujud, our life becomes baseless, senseless, and useless. We have to be a part of the existence to realize what's found around us, surrounding us. Okay, the life of the human without knowing the existence is baseless, meaningless, useless. That's why the existence is the source of life. The existence is the lively presence of Allah. This is the theological part of it. It's the lively presence of Allah and the reality of life. It is the eternal and the ultimate reality. This is the existence. Uh, it is the whole presence of Allah inside those who know, understand, feel it and make it alive during their lives. And the presence of Allah is very crucial for those kind of people. The other people who are talking about it, them in a minute, those people who do not have intellectual hearts or minds will only see what? Superficial values of life. Those people who do not have intellectual hearts or minds will only see the superficial values of life because they only look forward for some tangible materials, for some energies, and will miss the ultimate eternal presence of the existence. And its holistic being, those are what we call biological citizens. Let me say it again. Those who do not have intellectual hearts or minds will only see the superficial values of life because they only look forward for some tangible materials, energies, and will miss the ultimate eternal presence of the existence and its holistic being, those what we call biological citizens. All right? This source which I mentioned before, it's called alishraq.net. It's not my talk. I only, I only translated it into English. The second character in this presentation is the biological unstable citizen. Biological. What do you mean by biological unstable citizen? This is the family. You know, look at the previous family. A man and his wife looking after the whole the universe. And this is a man and his wife looking only after his, himself, herself, and his children. Okay? Don't care about what's surrounding. This word stable came from a French thinker called uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aitin de la Poitiers. 
uh, in his uh, book called Voluntary Servitude. It's not only, it's not only, it's, it's not my words, it's his words. And thank, I, thank, I thank again Abdurrahman Abdur uh, Nahas and uh, Ahmad al-Sheikh in Idlib. In his introduction, he said, when nation is run by dictatorships, the living generations will not ask for freedom. They get used to being a uh, servant, to be uh, slaves by dictator. They will be acquainted with dictatorship regimes and this will be leading to the appearance of what? Of what we call a stable and biological citizen who will be living in his or her own world. So they are living inside their cocoon. Okay? Separating themselves from the whole society, the whole community, and the whole country. This is as uh, Mr. De La Pachier mentioned in his book. This individual who is a stable individual or biological individual have three interests in his life. First of all, religion for him or for her is like what? Is ritual. Ritual. Not spiritual. Not meaningful. It is the appearances of the individual. It is the code of dress, the length of the beard. Okay? not actually the substance of religion itself in his or her heart. Okay? Job for him is a meaningful mean for life. For whom? For him and his children only. And they only look at his family or at her family. Don't care what's happening around them. Living in the cocoon. Okay? The third interest, uh, football. How many millions in UK? Or how many billions globally become mad about football? Next Saturday will be the final of the European Championship, isn't it? Between Liverpool and uh, Real Madrid. And I will see people... I'm not against football. I love football. I enjoy watching football. But I don't want to worship football. There's a difference. I don't want to worship, to make football as prophecy, prophethood, and the players are prophets, and the coaches are prophets, and the managers are prophets, and so on. So no, 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 no. We love football, but we don't worship football. So football, to, for him, himself or herself, uh, uh, will let him to forget uh, 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 his problem or her problem, uh, give them false feeling of justice. Why? Because there's two teams playing with a referee, with some laws, and so on, and so on. Ah, oh, yes, and they keep uh, consuming his or her energy. This is the three interests they have. This is some characteristic of his, of, of his character or what we talked about him. This individual loved by whom? By dictators. They love those people to be in the society. Followed by whom? Followed by hypocrites who come and say, yes, you are sir. Yes, you are great master. Followed by the hypocrites. Recruited by their own enemies. Very easy to be recruited. In any revolution, you find this kind of people really easily recru recruited. And we have seen it in what happened in the last six or seven years in the Arab world. Hated by whom? Intellectual. They, and the intellectual hate them. Why? Because they do nothing. They are a burden on the society. Okay? Uh, changes, if any change is happening, will affect them badly. They don't want to change. They want to be living as it is. Do the same thing, thousand years. On, on, on the same. Uh, don't hate to take responsibility. They'll be refreshed by what? By servitude. If they become a slave, they'll be happy. I would love to become a slave. I don't want to live as a free man or a free woman. And the last one, control, which is very, very, very important. Control by their egos. Look at yourself. Look at myself. I wish that none of you and none of us will become one of those individuals, which we call a stable individual or we call it biological individual. Stable or biological individual. Okay? 
You are loved by dictators, followed by hypocrites, recruited by their enemies, hated by intellectuals, destroyed by changes, hate taking responsibility, refreshed by servitude, controlled by egos. Clear? I am praying now for all of you, you never become one of those people. Our reminder today, or our talk today, is about to, to be the universal citizen, not the stable or biological citizen. Biological or stable citizens have the same characteristics. But nowadays, we don't only have biological and stable citizens, we have biological families, and we unfortunately have biological organizations. We'll talk about it. I mentioned it before. Uh, in the last talk. These are some of the characteristics uh, which I will mention about how many how many characteristics? More than 29, 28. I'll just go through very quickly because of the uh, interest of time. Uh, can ultimately be defeated. Can be defeated inside uh, morally, humanitarily, intellectually, theologically because they don't have any defense mechanism inside themselves. Uh, b- break the social relationship with others and fight against integration and adaptation. They don't this, they don't like it. Being against volunteering. Oh, why are you going to waste your time? Why are you going to have a headache? And people talk negatively about you. Game against volunteering and social, uh, uh, and voluntary social service. Because, because volunteering and voluntary social service, what it happens, what it makes to them, Okay, it changes the biological life. Food, eating, drinking, having matrimonial relationship with their family, with their wife, and so and so and so and so and so. Oh my God, why should I change? Okay, interested only in materialistic values, cars, properties, clothes, whatever. They don't, are not interested in social and moral values. I hope that none of you is this individual. Don't care. They don't care or take any responsibility of any issue around themselves. You see Gaza is burning. You see Rohingya people is burning. You see Yemen is burning. You see Syria is burning. So all this. You see Democratic Republic of Congo. You see the South Sudan when there's a conflict. Uh, uh, between people and people are actually starving and at the time of fam- uh, nearly a famine last year you see Somalia now have two one, 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 one drought then have flood then have uh, 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 cyclone uh, you, you see Eritrea more than hundreds of thousands of people nobody talk about them and so and so and so they don't care this is the neighborhood is burning and they do, not, they do nothing and this is why they don't, they don't take any responsibility. And I'm praying for every sentence I'm saying that you are not one of them. They don't have confidence in themselves. No. Always, they might, they might have the, the, the quality, but they don't have confidence. They only fulfill their own desire. Becomes afraid of anybody to make a change or to think or bring a new idea. Okay, I am praying to Allah that you are not one of them. See all this? It has been put in two slides. Very negative, always very negative. Poorly shadow, poorly shallow minded, since they never made any initiative in their life. And they never take any risk. They don't want to take risk and take any initiative. Promoting the slogan, what does the slogan mean? Life is not just get used to it. Khalas, you've been beating. At your back, keep be beating every day, every day, every day. Okay? Uh, showing his, their weaknesses and inability all the time. I am weak, I can't, I don't, I will. No, 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 no. Only working days for themselves without interfering in anything. Even if they are underpaid because they don't want to become a burden or annoying the system in the country. Uh, they fear disgrace more than fearing to become sinful. Disgrace is more important than being uh, sinful. Okay. Respect tradition and they don't use the mind. The mind. Uh, respect tradition more than the logic. Glorify, glorify the clergyman. 
whether he is a priest or a sheikh or an imam or a rabbi or more than the textbook of God himself. Because they take shelter in what the sheikh or priest or rabbi said. Okay? Religion for them is ritual, as I said, cosmetic appearance and behavioral attitude. They show social hypocrisy. They have, they have double standard. At, with the family, they have something. With the outside people, they have something else. They could be beating their wives and children and using all the money they, uh, they earn on cigarette or hubbly bubbly or what you call it, qat, uh, like the money got, like the money eat. And or uh, hashish and uh, whatever and uh, drugs and deprive their children. And when they come out in public, they show that, oh, my daughter, oh, my wife, oh, my son. It is this kind of call it social hypocrisy and idealism to the, to the outside world. Uh, they always support dictators. They always, without, without, this is what we call in the, other, in the Arab countries, Hezb Kanaba. Uh, the sofa party, the sofa political party, sitting on the sofa, watching television and thinking, having a hot air discussion and solving the whole problem globally. The sofa party. Never see themselves as leaders, as I mentioned before. They always see themselves as what? As followers. They never take initiative. Okay. Always looking for savior. Oh, now we want Richard the Lion King. Lionheart? Lionheart. We want Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi. So, how can we make Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi? His mother, his father, his grandmother, are, it's a process of making a leader. It's not just somebody wake up. So what is your role of making this one who can save humanity? Now they want him or her to come and save us and without doing any effort. Okay? Uh, for Savior, why? Not because they are weak. They look for Savior not because they are weak, but because such a Savior will execute them from the public domain. Okay? Or taking risk or making decisions. He will do everything for us, not us. Okay, always looking for a fatherly figure to lead the country, even if he's a corrupt dictator. Okay, oppressive dictator. Why? Because this will give them the time to develop their own business, private business and interest. Somebody is to take care of it. Let me uh, have uh, 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 de deal with my own private business. Okay, whether this dictator is a king or a prince or a sheikh or a president or a prime minister, whatever it is. Okay? Always surrendered, yani defeated, always addicted and enslaved to illusion. Live in a bubble, in illusion. Okay, what is the illusion? The illusion is justice will prevail. Happiness is coming and happening very soon. Just wait. What's your role to bring justice, injustice? What's your role to bring happiness in happiness? The happiness cannot come to you at home while you are sitting doing nothing. People spend their time, their effort, their money, their life to bring happiness to you. To bring justice to you. And you should be a part of it. Loving to be stable life. Oh, I don't want any change. I don't want any change. Please, please, please get away. Leave me alone. Give me a space. Give me a space. This is what they will do. And always, they are happy to see victory of others on television. Certain television, the sofa, the sofa party, the sofa political party. We can make it now if somebody would like to create a new sofa political party. I've got one in uh, in, how, in, in every Middle East country. There's a sofa party. 
So political, we, we can, we can spread the, the, the theology of it and the, the philosophy of it to the West. So for political party in UK, right, we could be one of uh, our people here could be the uh, the chairman or the, the head of the political party itself. So for political party, okay. Sitting, watching success of others and being joyful. I want to see your own success. Like somebody was talking about uh, the football and say, uh, why you are so happy? The happiness is for the people who score the goal. Get out of your illusion and make yourself happy about something you do for the community or you do for the society or you do for the country or you do for humanity. This is the real happiness. Always call for mercy. Ah, oh, be merciful to us. Call the dictator for mercy. Not for justice. Oh, sir, your lordship, your highness, your, uh, your eminence. And he's a dictator. He's a thief. She's a thief. Corrupt. Please be merciful to us, your people. Stay as you are. We're not going to touch you, but be merciful. They never told him or her, we need justice. Because you don't want that. When falling between it's the choice, when choosing between servitude and the change, they will think, become a slave to the regime or to be a part of the change. They will see which one of them would be more profitable to him or her. To become a slave or to be a part of the change. And they'll make the choice. The, the, the choice based on Huh? What they benefit, what they, it come out of it. Okay? They suffer. And every day to complain, but they don't have consciousness. They are not aware. They could be highly educated with master and PhD and, 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 but no consciousness. But no mind. But no intellect in the mind. We shouldn't forget that the rise of numbers of stable and biological citizens in disaster area, okay, uh, is happening. Through what? Implementation of traditional, this is traditional, not transitional, traditional consuming projects done by international organization throughout the local ones and the enslavement of such donors to the local organization. It's happening. We are creating dependency syndrome for the last 50 or 60 years. International organizations are enslaving the local ones to do what they want and we have the handout syndrome. In Somalia, in Syria now 7, 8 years now, in Somalia 25 years or more, in Yemen, handout syndrome and this is what we call this kind of organization actually creating biological individual they are biological organization, creating biological individuals and family in the disaster stricken area. This will produce stable and biological families having negative impact on intellect, positive change, community building, refusing good governance, and lacking transparency, lacking transparency and innovation and vision. This kind of dependency syndrome in the humanitarian field will create this. And, for, and you are watching it every day, whether it comes from the Arab world or from the non-Arab world, from the Muslims or from the non-Muslims, from the international donor, even we make the local organization to follow us blindly. The greater the number of stable and biological families we have, the slower the community development will be. That's why you have to divide our society between the two, here, go back. I want each and every one of us, especially you, to be this man and this woman who care about humanity, who care about society, who care about community, because about the being of the beings, all of them, and be relating themselves to the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, I uh, don't want you to become this family 
who are only selfish, living in cocoon, and don't care about anybody else. Don't want to be a, you to be a part of the sofa political party, or the sofa theological party, or the sofa social party, or the sofa cultural party. No way. No way. No way. And coming back to thank uh, the web, the, the site which I took the information from, which is alishraq.net. Then the book which I read from, which is the book of voluntary servitude, because all what I'm mentioning to you now is being translated from those people and the great work done by uh, my uh, assistant, Mr. Uh, Ahmed Sheikh in Idlib, Syria, and Mr. Abdurrahman Nahas in, uh, for the media production in UK. Jazakumullah khair. I won't see you for about two weeks because I'm traveling to do some sightseeing in different countries. I'll be with you there. But uh, I'm not going to disclose where I'm going to be. But we'll see you maybe uh, in a few days' time from a different country. And happy Eid, happy Ramadan. And bring the happiness of your fasting to all the neighborhood, as I mentioned before. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.